What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today I have an extra, extra special one for you. It is the Nighthawk Sandhawk Double Stack 2011 9mm, and it is the nicest gun I have ever shot. I've been very blessed lately to review a lot of nice guns, a couple Wilson's, Staccato's, Nighthawks, it's just a lot of nice guns. Just want to say thank you to all my friends who've loaned me these guns. This one came from my buddy Kevin. So thank you, Kevin. Everyone is super generous. I will do a video comparing both of these, the Staccato XC and the Sandhawk after this. But for today, let's take a deep breath and enjoy the Sandhawk. We're going to start at the bottom, as always, and talk about magazines. And I got a big disappointment for you. Rhode Island passed a mag ban. So uh, all I have here to show you is 10 round magazines. I tried Staccato mags, Atlas mags, and God forbid, a Springfield Armory magazine. Yes, I put a Springfield Armory magazine in a Nighthawk. May I be struck down and shot with lightning or something. But any 2011 mag uh, that I tried for four different brands total will work fine in it. I am told the Nighthawk magazines are high quality, 17 rounds, solid, good to go. They're not cheap, of course, but they're good. But I, uh, I'm stuck with what I am, what I have, excuse me. All right. The frame and the slide are obviously steel. The grip, uh, it has like a three-part design, like a 2011 is what I'm trying to say. You can swap out the grips. If you don't like these, it looks like they can come off and you can do different things. Uh, but it, it looks and feels like a big, heavy 1911, even though it has the three parts like a 2011. But I, I don't know. I just wanted to mention that. Your grip safety back here is fine. I don't mind grip safeties on 1911s and 2011s. Some small guns I have problems with, but that is good to go. It has a good amount of tension to it. It's not hard, but a good amount of tension to it. No no issues with the grip safety at all. Uh, magazine, magazine release is fine. Good shape, good size, good... The, the amount it sticks out from the gun is fine. It drops the magazine freely. Nothing to complain about there. Now the trigger is sensational. I love the flat trigger. I love the aluminum trigger that's a metal trigger. Um, the weight's like three and a half, three and 3.75 pounds. It is adjustable. Uh, your take up is uh, very, very little take up. The wall is short, the wall is crisp. Uh, the reset is like nothing. It's absolutely beautiful. It's exactly what you would expect out of a very high end hand fit expensive gun. So as always, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a 10 second timeout, 10 second break. We're gonna get up close and personal with the trigger so you can smell it, you can taste it, you can feel it, you can lick the screen, and it's gonna taste like lead because I shot this gun a whole bunch. And I'll be right back. Dad? That trigger is great. Do not expect me to say many bad things about this gun. It is a very beautiful, very expensive gun. Your rail is fine. Standard 1913 rail, one cutout. It fit every light I tried on it. I think the 50 shades of FDE gun with the tan Surefire X300 and the tan uh, Trijicon RMR is just a beautiful, beautiful combo. You could go mod light on here until it breaks, but I think this is a perfect setup. If this was my gun, that's exactly how I would set it up. Now your safety on this particular one is strong side only. It's only on the left side of the gun. You can get an ambi safety if you want. Before I forget to mention it, when you get a gun through Nighthawk or in pretty much any other high-end custom guns, you can do a bit of customizing. They have a custom shop, so if you want it with or without an optics cut, the uh, safety, and there's several other options you can do on there. Check out the website and see for yourself. Now your slide release as far as location is a standard 1911-2011 slide release where you're going to have to use your thumb on your support hand to drop it or you're going to have to come over the top to rack that slide, whatever you choose to do. The nice thing about this one is it is extended. It does stick out a little bit further so it is very, very easy to reach that slide release with your thumb on your support hand. Um, the other thing I want to make sure I, I don't forget is to talk about the sights. The sights are really, really nice. Your front seat, front sight is actually 24 karat gold, like literally 24 karat gold, not exaggerating. The dovetail sights, you can swap them out if 24 karat gold isn't your thing for some reason, you can do so. Um, the non-optics version does have the sight in the rear. When you put the optic plate on, it moves the, sun, the sight to in front of the RMR. I don't mind that. I think it looks cool. People say it protects the RMR. I don't know about that. I think it looks cool. The owner of this gun doesn't care for that. He likes having the sight in the back. He says that sight is distracting to him in that window. Doesn't bother me at all, but uh, I figured 
I would at least mention it. Uh, steel sights, obviously, no plastic sights on here. Uh, again, the optics cut, you can get different ones. This is for an RMR, which again, on this gun, I think is just about perfect. Now I left this ginormous comp on this gun to the end. I probably should have talked about it first because that is what makes this gun special. Besides it being hand fit and a high end gun, this huge chunky boy comp along with the weight of this gun makes it shoot significantly softer than any other gun I have ever shot. Like I have some beautiful guns in this room with me right now. The Staccato XC is great. This is the best gun I have ever shot. And I have been blessed to go to a hundred different trade shows and shoot hundreds of different guns. Um, and uh, it's just absolutely beautiful. All right, uh, taking the, the gun apart is very similar to a 2011. The only thing that's different is on the recoil spring, there's a little spot you have to have a, a takedown tool that comes with the pistol, and I don't have that tool to show you. So for once, I can't take the gun apart and show you what it's like on the inside. What I can tell from looking at it is it has a very huge bull barrel that bows out in the end that helps it get a really, really solid lockup on there when you're shooting. Um, the feed ramps are very, very nice. They're super polished. They get very dirty very easily. But right now, uh, when I first got it anyway, it was new and it's very, very polished. And that's all I can really say um, about the internals. Um, sorry, can't go any further than that. Um, the other thing I wanna mention is the slide. I think I skipped that by accident, I'm sorry. The serrations are very, very aggressive, very, very nice. The front only has two serrations. It's a little small, if I had to be a little nitpicky, I would like to see another row or two of serrations, but this thing moves so easy, <laughs> it's not very hard. Um, like again, any high-end custom gun, the slide feels like it rides on butter. It's very, very smooth, very, very easy to go. All right, you can take a look at the dimensions, the weight, it's 40 ounces, just under 40 ounces. It's a big, heavy gun. That's part of the reason it shoots so nice, but most people are not gonna be putting this uh, in their pants appendix with the light and the optic, you're probably, I don't know, five pounds or something like that. The price, yes, the MSRP starts at $53.99 and goes up from there depending on the upgrades you choose. I'm sure you can find them for a little less at your local gun store, but either way, you're spending five to six grand on this gun. Whew. Uh, it's worth every dollar, but it's not cheap. Um, some of the upgrades you can do, barrel fluting, custom engraving, surefire light, ambi safety, sights, optics, upgrade the checking, the serrations, and there's a whole bunch of stuff under their custom shop. I am not going to bore you with that the whole list but testing this i do want to talk about a little bit because there are some significant things to talk about testing and this thing is a smile maker nobody can shoot this gun without smiling without giggling i let about 10 of my buddies shoot it and they all said the same thing something the effect of that's just wrong i don't want to go back and shoot my gun now that's a cheat code everybody smiles and giggles this giant comp on here really eats up most of the felt recoil it is just makes a significant difference. The weight doesn't hurt. Again, it's a big plus, you know, 40 plus ounce gun when it's loaded with the optic and the light. And I didn't do anything crazy. This gun is too nice, too expensive. I didn't want to beat it, uh, beat it up or scratch it or anything for the owner, Kevin, but I did shoot it quite a bit, just around that 500 round mark. It's one of those guns once you start shooting, especially if you're shooting steel, it wants to shoot fast, it wants to go, and you can tear through your ammo very, very easily. I did shoot it a little bit uh, indoors, uh, a little bit on low light. I shot it mostly outdoors at the range, you know, three or four trips outdoors, couple trips indoors. I wanted to shoot it at a low light. Uh, we have, uh, every other week we have a low light event here in Rhode Island. I wanted to shoot it uh, under night vision, but I'm not gonna lie, I was too afraid to bring it out at night and God forbid something happens to it, I'd have to sell my minivan to replace it and that's just not cool. In total, I had about 10 buddies shoot it, like I said, and everyone loved it. Everyone thought it was absolutely beautiful, hand fit, gorgeous gun. Now the other thing with these gun, these comped guns, especially these tight fit, hand fit guns, is when they get very, very dirty, especially if you shoot junk ammo like I always do, and especially if it's cold, you will start to have a little problems if you don't keep these clean. You need to keep them lubed, you need to keep them clean. Um, the Both the Staccato and the Nighthawk, when they got very, very dirty, they had some failure to feeds and a couple stove pipes. I uh, would wipe down the feed ramp really, really well. I'd add some uh, oil to the rails, rack it a few times, and then it was flawless for a few hundred rounds. So, if you're gonna get a comp gun and you're gonna shoot cheap ammo like I did, it's gonna get dirty and you're gonna need to clean it often just so you know, be prepared. And the ammo I was shooting was like 115 grain mostly, 124. I also shot a magazine of 147 hollow points and that was fine, but just so you know. All right, pros. 
can fit gun, one gunsmith, one gun. That's Nighthawk's motto and it truly makes a difference. This thing fits, feels, looks great. Aesthetically, very, very aesthetically pleasing. That 50 shades of FDE thing it's got going on is really, really nice. The trigger is great. The slide feels like butter. There is zero recoil. It feels like you're shooting, really feels like you're shooting a 22 Magnum, maybe like I don't know, it kind of feels like you're having malfunctions. It shoots so soft like that. Was that a squib load? <laughs> That's how sh uh, soft the felt recoil is. Cons, not gonna say the price. I know some of you in the comments are gonna say the price. Six grand, five grand for a gun. That's dumb, blah, blah, blah. These aren't made for everyone. These are high-end guns. You know, the folks driving uh, Lamborghinis, a new Corvette, or something like that. Not somebody like me driving a minivan. That's not the way it is. Uh, I would say I would like to see three magazines if I'm spending two or three grand. I'm um, sorry, five, six grand on a gun. I would like to see three magazines instead of two, but that's probably the only thing I can complain about. Overall, again, nicest gun I ever shot, hands down. One gun, one gunsmith. Nighthawk does that. It's well, it's well deserved. It's beautiful. It's great. It's just. Nicest gun I ever shot. I'll leave it at that. A couple quick things before you go. I want to thank my buddy Kevin for sending me that. I want to thank my buddy Wu for sending me that. Let me borrow that. All good stuff. Swag, if you didn't notice, these are now a long sleeve shirt. So if you want to support the channel, swag is the best way to support the channel. Link is down below. We have short sleeve shirts now. We have long sleeve shirts now. We have patches. We're growing. It's cool. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Most important though, if you if you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notification. If you choose to do any of those things, I appreciate it. It helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.